Sports People Hawaii is brought to you by Pfluger Honda and IBEW Local 1186 and its unionized electrical contractors. Aloha, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Sports People Hawaii. I'm Howard Dashevsky. Coming your way in the next 30 minutes, how the NFL is helping to develop the next generation, both on and off the playing field. We'll show you how a former racquetball and MMA fighting champion is helping to whip some everyday folks into shape. And we go inside the tube with one of the world's best big wave photographers to see how he comes up with these amazing images. But first, the Honolulu Marathon is right around the corner, and that means it is crunch time for one local woman, a great-grandmother known fondly as the Gladiator. we got to keep time with that helicopter. If you've never seen Gladie Burl out on the road, you're missing out. Missing out on her hugs, her infectious <laughs> laugh. <laughs> and on her positive energy that would be difficult for anybody to sustain, <laughs> let alone a woman who's turning 92 on her next birthday. Oh, this has been wonderful. A great grandmother of 16, Gladie is already a four-time Honolulu Marathon finisher. Her first race was in 1994, and her inspiration, what she witnessed when she looked out of her living room window one year earlier. In 2003, I saw the fireworks just before the marathon started. All of a sudden it hit me and uh, I thought I'm going to have to do it the next year. And so I did and I started getting out there and training. And Although you never know it talking with her, Gladys' journey has been a difficult one. She grew up poor and suffered from polio as a child. But standing in the midst of nearly 30,000 people decades later for the very first time is one moment in time she'll never forget. It, it is amazing. Of course, I was kept stomping, <laughs> wanting to get to the starting line. Now she's itching to get back to that starting line because the finish line has eluded her the past two races. In 2008, she lost her husband of nearly 70 years. It was real stressful at that time because he had been ill quite a while, but he wanted me to do another marathon, even though he wouldn't possibly be here. I made it to the little over 24. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Gladie was still a little down while preparing for last year's race, so her hairdresser had an idea to pair Gladie up with her husband, somebody to get her laughing again and to help whip her husband into shape. She saw that I was needing somebody last year, and she thought that it would be good for him to get out and be with me too, so we started out walking together. It's been uh, absolutely amazing, to be quite honest. It's hard to keep up with her. She gets more energized the more we walk. But despite their perfect relationship, there would be no finish line once again. Gladie made the mistake of trying energy gels for the first time on race day, and they just didn't sit well. I feel better and healthier this year than I have for a long time. So this is the year, we're gonna finish. Right. And not if, but when she and George cross the finish line, they'll start thinking about next year's race, especially for Gladie, because the word quit simply isn't in her vocabulary. There's so much life out there yet, and I don't think about my age. It doesn't bother me. I tell people age is only a number. The only thing that slows her down when we're practicing is when she runs into all the different people that she knows, which includes cats, mongoose, birds, <laughs> you know, all the dogs up at the dog park up there, and then uh, so many of the different people because they walk the same time, and you see them in there. But they're, honestly, they're inspired by her. They sit there say. and they can't, they can't imagine it. They walk six or eight miles and uh, they can't imagine doing 26. You can be old at 40. A lot of it is your thinking and uh, your attitude. And I've, I've gone through a lot of problems in my life, and, but just have to keep going. You can't give up. This year's Honolulu Marathon is set for December the 12th, and of course, we all wish Gladdy the very best. <laughs>